Welcome to weekly UAS news update. We have four stories for you this week. DJI loses $279 million in a lawsuit. That's big. Uh, Autel Robotics is releasing potentially a new drone very soon called the Alpha. We also have a Arkansas country of origin ban bill. Again, one more. And then uh, we have an NPRM that could uh, overall the Part 107 waiver process. So let's get to it. All right, your first story this week is Textron versus DJI. Uh, Textron decided to sue DJI in 2021 when they alleged that some of their DJI drones were uh, using some patents for their hovering capabilities. Textron ended up winning that legal battle and a federal grand jury in Waco uh, stated that DJI willfully infringed on Textron's patents and then was awarded a $279 verdict. Uh, DJI stated that uh, Textron is a military helicopter company and DJI is a civilian drone company. Uh, there's no commonalities between the two technologies, which I think is kind of a weak argument, actually, if you ask me. Uh, but we'll continue to keep you updated if we hear anything else as this battle continues. The second story this week is a leak from Autel. There are rumors and specs that uh, show a currently unreleased Autel drone that would be called the Alpha. Uh, which appears to compete with the DJI Matrice 30. Uh, the leak were reported at a uh, Autel Robotics Global Partner Summit that's uh, currently going on, and uh, it shows the aircraft and even a spec sheet. It looks like it may have a 50 megapixel wide camera, a 4K zoom camera capable of doing 25x zoom, a 640x512 thermal camera, and then also a laser rangefinder. Now, this would probably be the next upgrade from the Max, which uh, well, we haven't seen flying just yet, but it looks like at this event, uh, they finally had a, a flying version of the Mac. So uh, it looks like Autel is going after the same kind of uh, uh, market that uh, DJI has with the Matrice uh, 30 and then also with the Mavic 3 Enterprise. So this looks like it would kind of fall in between all these. So uh, additionally, it looks like the Alpha uh, have uh, capabilities for multiple payloads a 45 minute flight time and then 360 degree uh, obstacle avoidance. So uh, we'll let you know if we hear more about the Alpha, but I think we should be looking for a, a release pretty soon from Autel. And your third story this week is another country of origin ban for public safety. Uh, this time this is in Arkansas. Uh, the law enforcement will have four years to phase out the use of their foreign drones and then the departments may have to apply for waivers uh, through the uh, Secretary of Transportation. Now, this is following a similar ban that we saw in Florida last month. And then there's also a bunch of them that are cooking right now in Texas, California, and Tennessee. Uh, once again, uh, we would like to see uniform security standards uh, for those drones that can actually be tested individually instead of outright uh, bans from uh, certain manufacturers. But uh, the people that are behind all these bans, unfortunately, um, well, they have a, a different story to tell. All right, your final story this week is a call to action. Uh, this, there's a new NPRM, a notice of proposed rulemaking on how the FAA approves airspace waivers and airspace authorizations. Uh, the NPRM continues to uh, give the authority to the FAA to collect data on the operations in order to issue these airspace authorization. Now, if this is too cryptic for you, we're talking about lens here. So if the FAA were stripped of their authority, in this case, this would virtually there would be virtually no way to get airspace authorization as ATC would have to do it manually, which I think we tried that very early on, uh, right after Part 107 came out, and it was not a good thing. So uh, the FAA estimates that there is about uh, 1.5 million airspace authorizations that are going to be done in the next three years. So to keep things moving smoothly uh, in the U.S. industry, we believe that Lance and the uh, FAA drone zone authorizations uh, must continue as they are. Uh, you can leave your comment on the NPRM until May 22nd. And that's it. A quick reminder that we will be at AUVSI Exponential in Denver from May 9 to May 11 next week. And uh, we hope to see you there. You can stop by at the booth. It's 2643. Come say hi. Come talk. And then on that Monday, we will have a live uh, Ask Greg Anything session again. Uh, we will be doing this from Colorado. And so make sure that you mark your calendars and we hope to talk to you then. We may even have some surprise guests. We'll see uh, who we can round up for that. All right, that's it. You have a great weekend and we will see you next week. In here is a mysterious drone. Greg can see if he can uh, tell what it is, but blindfolded. Look at them glasses. All right, I, I literally cannot see.
is a Mavic 3. I don't want to put my fingers on top of that lens. Yeah, it's a Mavic 3 Classic. Is that your final guess? Yeah, and I know we broke the other one, so... <laughs> Take off your glasses and see if you got it right. Bye-bye! I win.